Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy, Wikipedia Audio Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy is a method of psychotherapy based strictly on Gestalt psychology. Its origins go back to the 1920s when Gestalt psychology founder Max Wertheimer, Kurt Lewin, and their colleagues and students started to apply the holistic and systems theoretical Gestalt psychology concepts in the field of psychopathology and clinical psychology. Many developments in psychotherapy in the following decades drew from these early beginnings, like e.g., group psychoanalysis, so called Gestalt therapy or catathem imaginative psychotherapy. In Europe Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy in its own right has been initiated and formulated on this basis by the German Gestalt psychologist and psychotherapist Hans Jürgen P. Walter and his colleagues in Germany and Austria. Walter, a student of Gestalt psychologist Friedrich Hoth, was influenced to form the core of his theoretical concept on the basis of the work of Gestalt theorists Max Wertheimer, Wolfgang Kohler, Kurt Kafka, Kurt Lewin, and Wolfgang Metzger. Walter's first publication on Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy came out in 1977 Gestalt Theory und Psychotherapy, which is now on its third edition. The majority of the extensive literature on Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy which has been published in the decades since then is in the German language. However, Walter's articles Cognitive Behavior Therapy and Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy and What Do Gestalt Therapy and Gestalt Theory Have to Do with Each Other? have been published also in English as well as Gerhard Stemberger's more recent introductory article Diagnostics in Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy. Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy in this form has gained popularity predominantly in German-speaking countries. It is officially approved by the Austrian government as a scientific psychotherapy method under the Austrian Psychotherapy Act. One of the most striking characteristics of Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy is the key role of the epistemological grounding position of Gestalt theory and its applicability to the fundamental, theoretical, and practical problems in psychotherapy. In Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy this is closely bound up with the basic methodological approach of Gestalt theory, its system theoretical approach and its specific psychophysical and psychological approach. Notes Gerhard Stemberger's Diagnostics in Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy provides insight into the concept and process of Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy. The Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapy therapeutic process is a relationship between two individuals in which both the therapist and client develop an egalitarian attitude. An egalitarian attitude is the concept that everyone is equal. The diagnostic process and the therapeutic process are inseparable to Gestalt Theoretical Psychotherapists. The therapist is responsible for supporting the client in discovering their specific and individual feelings and problems. Gestalt theoretical psychotherapists believe that an individual cannot be forced into doing things that are against the individual's nature, therefore it is crucial for the therapist to adapt diagnostic exploration to the individual's capabilities. The therapeutic process requires no strict or set schedule and the speed of the process varies for each individual. Force field analysis, a concept from Kurt Lewin, is a phenomenological procedure in which the therapist and client look for opportunities to explore specific attributes of the client's life space, their driving forces, and barriers. This can occur in therapy through dialogue, allowing the client to experience their feelings through speaking. The anthropological model in Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy is the belief that the therapist should not only focus on inner components of the client, but also focus on the interaction between the client and their environment that affect their experience and behavior. 
Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy is related to but different from Fritz Perl's Gestalt therapy in its theoretical foundation. Many Gestalt psychology experts have pointed out the differences between Gestalt theory in its original sense and the Perlsian understanding of Gestalt.